All right, we got a bit of an automotive case study here and some lessons to be learned. This is a 2004 Ranger, 2.3 liter engine, and it's got some fuel problems. It would start, run, drive, but after a while it would throw a lean code. Did some digging and what we found is that the fuel pressure is holding steady at about 50 PSI at all times. Now it's actually supposed to be about 60 to 65 PSI because this is a returnless fuel system. So it seems to be a regulation issue, but to verify, come down here to our fuel pump and we block off the return to our fuel filter. We block off the return line from the fuel filter to the tank. Gave the truck a prime and she built up 70 PSI of fuel pressure very first prime so we don't have an issue with the pump itself our problem is with this regulator now the previous owner said that he had his buddy replace the fuel pump and as you can see it is very shiny the problem is that you'll notice there are zero markings on this fuel pump whatsoever and his buddy uh, kind of screwed up everything he touched on this truck. So there's a pretty good chance that this fuel pump came from eBay or Amazon, or it's just some no-name fuel pump from whatever parts store. So why is it regulating to 10 to 15 PSI below what it's supposed to? Because it's junk. That's, that's as simple as I can put it. Um, this is not a new problem. I have seen this issue multiple times before. I had a GM 4.3 aftermarket fuel injection spider, ran fine, but through lean codes. Put the factory fuel pressure regulator in it and it ran just fine, no codes. For some reason, a lot of times, these cheap fuel pressure regulators just regulate to a pressure that is too low. And so you end up getting lean codes. Now, unfortunately, most places will only sell you a fuel pump module and a quality fuel pump module it could run a couple hundred dollars. Not really interested in doing that right now when it's just the regulator that's causing the problem. So I did some digging and I managed to find this fuel pressure regulator. It's made by Herco, who I have only just now heard of. It's a PR4030. It comes with this entire housing, but I will only be using this part because I don't see the need to change the whole housing. Uh, now, these can be had on eBay or Amazon, and they list different pressures, but the stock image and this one both say 450 kPa, and if you do the conversion on that, that converts to right about 65 PSI or so, which is exactly where it needs to be for this. So we're going to pop that in there and see if that takes care of our fuel pressure issue. So we got our new fuel pressure regulator in. Here's the old one. You just pull that little clip out, pops right out, stick the new one in. Now we'll just stick the fuel pump back in and see if our fuel pressure system is working again. Okay, she's a little fluttery. But we're right around 65 PSI, which is exactly where we should be. Okay, so after taking her for a spin, the fuel pressure is holding pretty steady. She's running pretty good. No problems there. Now, the big thing though is the fuel trims. I've been monitoring those as well. You're not going to get an idea with me just sitting here. But before, we were having an issue where as soon as I started getting on the throttle, the short-term fuel trim would just climb and climb. And under heavy load, it was breaking 20% on the short-term fuel trim easily. Uh, so that's adding way too much fuel trying to compensate for that lower fuel pressure. We're not getting any of that now. It's staying under 5% most of the time, which is right where we really want it to be. So everything checks out here. If you're interested in that fuel pressure regulator, I'll put a link to it down below. But the moral of this story is just because a part is new doesn't mean it's any good. And if it's a really cheap part, there's a good chance that it's not going to work right right out of the box. So I hope this helped you out. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave them down below.